Silence. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. 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 Thank Mr. Eggleston? Here. Mr. Enders? Here. Mrs. Gray? Here. Mr. Harris? Here. Mr. Miller? Present. Mrs. Mungold? Here. Mr. Nobinger? Here. Mr. Peterson? Here. Mr. Minnick? Here. Registered public comment? There are not. Okay. We're going to do some board presentations to some of our students who created our uh, holiday cards this year. Um, I will start. Oh, yeah. Mr. Woods is going to tell him to talk about the program. You'll have to turn it on. Anyways, I'm Ted Book. I'm a high school art teacher. I teach graphic design. Um, the last couple of years, we've been having the opportunity. Next card. Did you turn that on? Oh, okay. 
The next is illustrated by David Boyd, 11th grade, written by Chloe Wright, 5th grade. It reads, Merry Christmas. I hope this holiday brings you lots of joy, laughter, and peace. Make this holiday a time for you to spend with your family. So that's uh, David Boyd and Chloe Wright. The next card is illustrated by Mary Ryland in 10th grade and written by Piper Gray, Piper Gray in 5th grade. May your holiday season be filled with love, smiles, and Christmas joy. The next card is illustrated by Lily McCormick, grade 11, and the same reads, may you laugh with joy. You are incredibly gifted and loved. Have a happy holiday. <coughs> And our last card was illustrated by Sarah Ryland in grade 9 and written by Savannah Green in grade 5. Reads, Christmas isn't about the tree. Friends and family being. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Book. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Book, and thank you to the students. They were wonderful. All right, moving on. We have committee chair summary reports. Uh, um, did we have one in this month? I don't think we did. Um, we did. On December 6th, the, the minutes are attached. Okay, the minutes are attached to the meeting. Um, I don't recall any highlights. Though. So, yeah, whatever's in the minutes. <laughs> uh, budget and finance, same, uh, same thing. Do we have, do we have one of those as well? No, we did not have a budget finance. I apologize. Too close to Christmas, I guess. Um, educational policy. Did we have a meeting last month? No. Uh, facility and security for the meeting? No. Okay. Uh, approval of minutes. We have the minutes from the regular November 15th board meeting, the Human Resources Committee committee meeting from December 6th, and our reorganizational and general purpose meeting on uh, December 6th as well. I have a motion to approve. Mr. Miller, second. Mr. Enders, any question? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Thank you. Uh, board, of board member liaisons, uh, capital area intermediate unit, Mr. Miller. So I have attached to the agenda the uh, newsletter, which is the report from uh, the supervisor at the CIAU for both November and December. 
uh, for your uh, request uh, and for your uh, for your perusal. Uh, nothing else to report for the CIEU. Thank you. Uh, Expert Mary Finn College. Mr. Harris. Nothing. Act 32. Uh, we did have a meeting, and uh, I provided the synopsis on Agenda Manager. Um, everything continues to uh, go well with Keystone Collections and our earned income tax collections. So um, it's there for your reading enjoyment. Thank you. Uh, PSPA, Mr. Higgins. Nothing. Nothing. Thank you. Uh, business Office Financial Reports, uh, District Financial Account Reports. Okay. Nothing uh, that we have to point out on the treasurer's report. Uh, nothing out of line there, unless anyone has any questions on that. Uh, the capital reserve account, likewise, um, there was an interest rate increase on the mid pen bank account, which is noted. Uh, went from uh, half interest to one and a quarter. Um, the Pliget uh, account, nothing uh, too exciting going on there, just the interest uh, was posted to the account in this past month. And the food service account, same way, nothing, nothing to uh, highlight there. Do you have any question on any of those reports? I entertain a motion to approve um, general fund, capital reserve, Pliget, and the food services account. Mrs. Gray, second. Mr. Enders. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Okay, the budget status reports uh, the revenue and expense. Uh, as I mentioned in a previous meeting, you would see an impact on this month's statements on the revenues and expenditures. And that is due to posting the backouts to our accounts. So we had uh, expenditures that needed to be posted into the prior year that came in after July 1st. So we accrued those into the prior year. And now in November, uh, we're coming back around and taking those expenditures out of the current year. So you'll see some current, uh, some negative numbers in there on the, the revenue and expenditure side. And that is due to those backouts coming out of there in the month of November. Uh, but bottom line is we are uh, in line and right where we should be at this point. There is, if you do any comparisons to last year, um, if you recall the backouts last year weren't completed until January, so there may be a little discrepancy between current year and last year, uh, but if you look at two years ago when the backouts are normally completed in November, we're right in line again. So last year was a little bit of a discrepancy just due to the lateness of those postings in January. Question on the budget summaries. I've got it. Entertain a motion to Seven. approve both. Mr. Miller, second. Mrs. Mongol. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Activity accounts, anything to note? Uh, I do not. And uh, any questions on the activity accounts, we would look to our principals to uh, help address those questions. Any questions on the activity accounts for the, the schools? If not, I entertain a motion to approve all three. Mr. Uh, Enders, second, Mrs. Mongol. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Okay, and bills and disbursements. I do have an item here um, that we do need to pull out. So, the very last item listed there, uh, 8.4.3.1, check number 48897. Uh, it came to our attention after the fact that that check was uh, written to, um, sorry, Tim, what's the name of the company? Multiplying. Multiplying um, for golf uniform t-shirts. Um, as, you know, matter of policy, the district is not able to do business with board members 
I did review this issue uh, with our solicitor. And I don't know, Gareth, if you have anything that you would want to add to that, but um, we have made our athletic director aware, um, and we are now aware in the business office when this was, when the order was placed and when it was processed, um, no one really knew that this was Mr. Peterson's company. So, Gareth, do you have anything to, to add? Uh, Eric, I think you summarized it. I did recommend it out for a separate vote and advise uh, Mr. Peterson to abstain from this particular item. Otherwise, I agree with your summary. I think you covered it. Okay. Trick number was that? 48897. Okay, so does anyone need anything else pulled out of the November? or December 20th. If not, I would entertain a motion to approve all of them except for a check for 88997. So Mr. Miller, second. Mr. Enders, any question on that? Secretary, call the roll. Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungle? Yes. Mr. Novinger? Yes. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick. Yes. And now I'd entertain a motion to approve uh, check for 8897. So move, Mr. Enders. Second. Mr. Eggleston, is there a question? Secretary Calderon. Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungold? Yes. Mr. Novinger? Yes. Mr. Peterson? Abstain. Mr. Minnick. Yes. Thank you. Uh, and now we have the uh, reports from staff, uh, supervisor of curriculum, instruction, and assessment, Mr. Leiter. Good evening, everyone. Uh, I have three things on my report. I have three items from my report. Uh, first item was uh, just to inform you of the professional development coming up on January 13th. Uh, on an in service day, Dr. A will be back in town on Thursday and Friday of that week. Uh, so that will be a major part of the training that goes on with teachers that day. And then also there will be a, a class link training. Class link will be replacing Clever as the landing board for teachers when they operate their devices and access <laughs> applications and websites with their computers, so they will receive some training on that as well. Uh, also, the second portion is about state assessment data, and just to inform you that uh, this past month, uh, the state put out the, the great giant spreadsheet of student performance data based on each grade level. Uh, if you were a board member when uh, Mr. Kim Salvers was in the uh, position of Director of Curriculum Instruction, he produced a multicolored data sheet to share with board members to show student performance and to give you a comparison year by year of how our students or students were doing. I was just informing you that if you'd like me to, to show you that data next month, I could be prepared to do that. So if you'd like to see that, I'd be willing to do that. Um, and then the last note was about the comprehensive plan, just to give you a sense of where we are and the process that I've used to this point. Uh, when you go into the state planning portal and you look at the comprehensive planning portal, the, all the things that you have to enter to create a document, it's broken into three pieces. And those three pieces the, is the narrative piece, the first piece, the school district demographic information, mission, vision statement, et cetera. The second piece is the collection of data. And the third thing, Piece is the creation of goals and plans for the future. Uh, the process that I've used to this point is uh, with the school demographic information, mission, and vision, I communicated with the steering committee strictly by email and asked for feedback about those pieces. Uh, the second piece was this, the sharing of student data. I shared that student data with the, with the steering committee. Uh, we met, and then based on that data, we came up with suggestions of future goals and things to do in the future. Uh, where we are at now, I have now 
completed the Mike Leiter comprehensive plan. So the comprehensive plan is written according to Mike Leiter, uh, but not being the end all be all. I ran what I created past the admin team last week. And then the next step will be to share out with the rest of the steering committee, meet as a group, probably first week of January. Uh, depending on the steering committee's feedback, if they want me to add or subtract from what we've created, I'll make those suggested edits and then we'll look to post for 28 days. And then after that posting, I'm hoping to look for board approval in February. So that's where we're at. And uh, so if you have any questions, I'd be happy to take them. So the steering committee is the committee that you had outlined at a previous meeting a few months ago, I believe, yes. two months ago. Um, is that the only committee that involves non that, that involves the public. Is that the only committee that there is, involves the public? There is also another committee called the Professional Development Committee, but there is a lot of redundancy between the people who occupy the positions on those two committees. So I believe if I'm not mistaken during that, and that's gonna be the only two committees, there's not a third or fourth plan Correct. committee. Okay. Thank you. Um, so I, I will say I would I think the board would like to see that data next month if you wouldn't mind putting it together. Um, I think it, it was really valuable in the past. I think it would be good. Again. I'd be happy to do that. Thank you. Next report is uh, supervisor's group for special education, Mrs. Wick. trying to make sure that we have as many bases covered, that the transition between my time and our next person um, is as soon as possible. So I've been spending time making sure that, for example, our audit is where it needs to be. We've turned in all portions, um, except for two pieces that are uh, going to come back in March. So just to let you know that uh, anything uh, there's one policy that will be coming to the committee for review that needs to be updated. Other than that, everything's been submitted. March PDE uh, and Bureau of Special Education, they will take a look at our review to see that the corrections were made. Uh, and if there's any additional changes that need to be made, they'll recommend at that time. Uh, there is then two pieces that need to be completed between uh, now and September of 2023. One is a parent um, presentation, and one is a professional development training for teachers on assistive technology. So the bulk of the audit has been completed. I wanted to make sure that was done before I left. Um, and those remaining pieces will either be in March or between now and September. Um, just also to let you know, I wanted to thank my administrative team for all their support over the years. I wanted to thank the board and a particular thanks to Mrs. Trina Bellis, uh, who's really been my uh, in, this, in the special education office. I just wanted to bring attention to the fact that her dedication and time in the, in the office has just been um, a tremendous help to the district and to me. I just wanted to personally thank her. So, questions? Questions? Um, now, Mrs. Wick, I definitely want to thank you on behalf of the board for your time with the district. Um, we will sorely miss you and wish you well in your next endeavor. So thank you. Thanks. Next, uh, Supervisor of Buildings and Grounds, School Safety and Security Coordinator Report, Mr. Troutman. You almost got down here before I read your whole title. Yeah, anyway. Well, good evening. Um, again, numerous items that I had listed on, um, on the agenda, man. Just a few things I'd like to highlight, <clears throat> excuse me, and some additions to them also that I learned after I uh, posted these. Um, the, I answered the questions uh, from the gaming uh, grant or the Dolphin County Local Share Municipal Grant for next year's um, application. Also, three days prior to that, 
every 90 days you have to do a progress report and submit it to uh, the county. And I did that for this year's grant. So um, two days after I did that, I learned from Hershox, the company that uh, was the lowest bidder and the board had voted and, a, and, a, and approved uh, that project, they're going to start January 3rd on the doors. So um, just some additional information to, again, what was I had listed on here. Um, next Monday, we're going to continue um, with the building, continue developing the specifications for the building project. So while kids are out of the school and staff are out of the school next week, um, Monday, I'm meeting with more engineers and we're going to go through uh, some of the old shop areas, the existing, not old, the existing shop areas um, also. So any questions on any of my items I have listed or anything you'd like to know from me? Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. Have a good holiday. You too. Uh, High School Principal, Mr. Schober. Thank you, Mr. Bennett. Uh, on behalf of the administration, we would like to, I'm going to speak for all of us, like to thank Mrs. Wick for her years of service here. She's been uh, an integral part of our team. There's going to be a hole there that's going to be impossible to replace, but we'll do the best we can. Uh, so thank you, Ken, for all that. Um, I was going to bring two items to your attention, but now it's three. Something uh, strange happened between my, my work document that I copied into uh, agenda on one item there. So I think it's very important for me to mention to you the item there is not the ADD Youth Advisory Board, the difference one letter can make. Uh, that is actually SAD, <laughs> S-A-D-D. Um, so I just wanted to make sure I clarified that to you. Uh, we had three ladies that went, to, for some reason, the beginning and end of that particular item didn't copy. Uh, went down to Allison Hill for the uh, Dauphin County Drug Alcohol Advisory Seminar. They represented Millersburg, fantastic. It's the first year we've had representatives on that council, um, and, and it was a wonderful conference. Mr. Corey Khan accompanied them, so I apologize that part somehow got left off there. Uh, the winter concert, I'm sure the other administrators would say the same thing. I had the privilege last Sunday to attend the high school winter concert. It was as fabulous as it always is. Our high school band and choir did a phenomenal job. It was a very entertaining afternoon, so I thank all those musicians. And lastly, um, I'm very pleased to announce, uh, do you remember back a while back, uh, Mr. Mike Manning, one of our seniors, came to you. His internship project last year was the <coughs> courtyard project. Um, and I told you at that time that Gold Blow Landscape had donated, you know, $5,000 worth of project. Uh, over the last two months, I've been working uh, with MI Windows, and they let me know about two weeks ago that they have matched that amount. Uh, so we have the entire project landscaping fully funded at $10,000 with no cost to the district. So uh, Dan and I actually met with Golden Glow today after school. Uh, we toured the area down there. We're starting to talk about things like which doors we're going to come in and when we can schedule this. And I'm, I'm very excited. We've been trying to make this happen for eight years. Um, special thanks to MI for that more than generous donation. Um, and that's why I wanted to bring that up at the meeting tonight. Uh, we're excited that we're moving that project. If anybody has any questions for me about anything? Questions? No, that's that's awesome though. That, that's going to be a great project. Thank, Thank you to you. those two for supporting it. And Mike is still working there, obviously, so he's going to spearhead the whole thing. Uh, he's going to still manage it. He'll be the, the foreman of the project. Great. Thank you. Middle school principal, Mr. Bell. Not as tall as everyone else. We're docs. We had a lot of great things happening this past month and a little bit at the end of November that built a lot of community. Uh, so I'll just highlight a few of those. Uh, our Kindness Club has launched a kindness tree. It's sitting right outside my office, so I get to enjoy it the most. Uh, the kids do random acts of kindness, and staff is looking to uh, recognize them, and then they get an ornament, and they get to fill it up. The thing is loaded down, so very happy to report that. We have a lot of acts of kindness going on. Um, Breakfast with Santa was a huge hit. We had a massive amount of people come through. It was really cool. I brought my son over. 
Uh, it was cool to see a lot of the elementary students come through. So special thanks to my middle school uh, student council along with the adults that um, assisted with that whole program. It was phenomenal and really well put together, well organized. So we are really proud of all of that. Um, lastly, same as um, Mr. Super thank you to Mrs. Slammer for her program for the band and concert. Those kids are awesome, and they were so excited and so proud, as they should have been. It was a, it was neat to see and um, how much time and effort they've all put into to what they've done there to, to showcase their talent. So really proud of them, proud of the uh, staff that made that possible. Any questions for me on anything else that was in my notes? Oh, thank you. Wonderful. Happy holiday. Elementary uh, school principal report. Mr. Good evening, everyone. Um, can I just say I like this new setup here? As a former disc jockey in high school, I'm very comfortable in front of the microphone. This looks this is pretty nice here. As uh, my elementary staff knows, my, I'm the host of morning announcements. Um, so I'd like to highlight one of our morning announcements uh, segments is Who's Here Wednesday? Uh, where we interview a staff member in Lankerville or the Milliford area. Uh, we, this month, had two of our paraprofessionals, we had Mrs. Romberg this month, um, as well as Mrs. Tobias, uh, working in our life skills classrooms, and they uh, answer such hard hitting questions, uh, such as, would you rather be able to talk to animals all day or speak part of language? But it's a new year, we're trying to expand our wings, uh, stretch ourselves out, so uh, don't be surprised if you do get a uh, email from me in the near future here to see one of our board members that can be on Who's Here Wednesday. Um, I'd like to also like to uh, talk about uh, PBIS. One of our uh, goals for this year is implementing naked recognition uh, from the state uh, at Lankerville. We've had um, some busy weeks and some busy upcoming events uh, in Lankerville in uh, this month. We're going to be working on our action plan. Um, we're going to be attending a conference uh, at the, the training at the IU, as well as uh, having somebody come and do a presentation to staff. And really, this uh, these next five months are going to be big for us, kind of jump-starting um, our 2020, fall 2023 uh, initiative. Um, as our other administrators, I'd like to shout out to our uh, amazing band and chorus fourth and fifth graders, uh, putting on a great show uh, for us last evening. Uh, they did an amazing job. And Mrs. Slemmer uh, were there to do it, uh, so they did a great job. And uh, lastly, I don't have it in my board notes, but as we are here in late December and our temperature is about to drop 30 degrees um, and cold and flu season, I'd like to shout out to our healthcare professional in our school, uh, Ms. Smith does an amazing job just dealing with, you know, the day-to-day -day of an elementary school, askings, um, as well with cold and flu seasons, all the aches and pains and fevers and not fevers and headaches and not headaches and all that going on. Uh, she really dedicates her time, um, so I really want to shout out to her that she's done an amazing job. Any questions? Uh, I have one. Sure. What is PBIS? So PBIS is Positive Behavior Interventions and Support. Um, so it's really creating a culture in schools um, where we are focused kind of on positive initiatives and a way to promote um, uh, behavior that we desire in the school and we have in places um, as well as in the classroom and really trying to incentivize. You can tell us how already before. That's okay. okay. I'll, I'll talk about it all day. Yeah. Always good to explain it one more time. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Any other questions? Thank you. Mr. Peter? Before I speak about the action items uh, tonight that I want to highlight, two informational pieces for the board. Uh, we received an email this past week in regards to the PCERS pension rate for the upcoming school year, the 23-24 uh, fiscal year that is. The rate uh, is set at 34% even. And that is the first year-to-year -year decline in the rate in more than a decade. Uh, so again, that will be applied to salaries between July uh, 1 of 23 and June 30 of 24. Um, just a little historical perspective. Uh, 
Last year, we were at 35.26%. So 34 flat takes us back to where we were uh, between the 18, 19, and 19 years. So um, good news there. It, it, hopefully, it continues to head that direction. Um, but we'll see what the future brings. Well, right now, we'll take the good news for next year. The other item uh, that's informational is we had our local auditors back in the office yesterday, and that was for our single audit for federal programs. So we were uh, able to provide them with the information that they needed while here. Uh, we'd like to thank Mr. Leiter, uh, coordinator of federal programs, as well as Mrs. Long and Mrs. Schaefer in the business office. Um, busy day yesterday, but uh, again, we were able to get them what they need, and hopefully they will get that audit wrapped up here um, very soon, and then we will be able to schedule that audit presentation uh, to the board. So stay tuned for that. Uh, Comments on, excuse me, comments on agenda items. The first item uh, you'll see on the action items tonight, there's a resolution on the agenda which authorizes our finance team to proceed in preparing for a second bond issue in 2023. Uh, that was talked about in tonight's presentation. Um, and we do have Mrs. Doyle here, uh, if you have any questions in regard to that motion that's on tonight. Any discussion on, on those? No? Okay. Um, moving on, the Act 1 tax resolution is on tonight's agenda for action. And the Act 1 tax resolution is something that we pass each year that states that the district does not intend to exceed the adjusted index on our village rating. So as I had reported in a previous meeting, our adjusted index for next year is 5.5%. So tonight's resolution is saying that we would not enact a tax increase greater than that. Um, so what that equates to, that 5.5%, is uh, 1.2092 mills, which um, if, if we would enact a 5.5%, would take us from 21.9858 mills to 23.1950. Um, tonight's action simply says that the board agrees to not exceed the five and a half percent adjusted index. We're not setting an amount of what that uh, tax increase would be. We're just saying to the state, we will not exceed it. Uh, and lastly, another action item here to speak about, and this is one that uh, we're excited about in, in the business office is something that we had been talking about for quite a while is changing our financial information system. Um, you've probably heard a great or two about Alio, our current system, and we had uh, brought in CSIU to talk about their financial system, which is by far the most popular uh, system used by school districts in Pennsylvania, and they are expanding into Ohio. Um, we met with them for a full day uh, demonstration, Mrs. Long, Mrs. Schaefer, Dr. Patushnig and I, and uh, great presentation. They took their time with us. Again, it was, it was a full day. Um, we unanimously agreed that this is the, the direction that the district needs to go. Um, we reviewed this with the Human Resource Committee uh, to move from Alio over to this. The committee asked if we could check on a multi-year contract, which I did ask about. Um, that was not available. The committee also asked uh, if we would check and see if they would cap 
the data conversion fee, the one-time data conversion fee, uh, to $3,800, which they agreed to. So you'll see uh, on my report here, that's written as not to exceed 3,800. So they were agreeable to that. Uh, they were also uh, agreeable. I, I asked them, you know, we're, we're looking at starting to send them files uh, to prepare for cutover in July. We'll start that process in January. I said, hey, I don't want to pay for two financial systems this year, uh, and they have agreed to hold off all billing until after the first. So we will start doing the work, start sending them the files, start getting things ready. Uh, no bills uh, will be paid. They won't invoice us for anything until after July 1st. So we are not impacting the current budget year in any way. Um, so again, if you look at the cost comparison to what we have now, Palio, uh, the annual cost, and this is based on student enrollment, so it can fluctuate each year, up or down, depending on what our student enrollment does, but it's $9,245 a year. There's the one-time setup fee of $1,050, uh, again, that data conversion charge of not to exceed $3,800. Uh, so in the first year, that cost would be $14,095. After that, it's the $9,245 amount. And if you compare that to our Alio bill, which I have attached on Agenda Man last year's bill, that's at $16,832. So not only is it a product that uh, we think will serve us much better, it is also less expensive. So but that is on tonight's agenda also for action. Any questions on any of those items? Okay. Superintendent's report. Sure, I would like to echo all of the other administrators' comments. Uh, Ms. Jennifer Wick, we're going to wish you well. Um, I just want to acknowledge all of your time and effort here in your transition over the last three, four weeks um, and all that you've done um, to try and make that transi transition as seamless as possible for the next person. Um, so I appreciate that personally, and I know um, we wish you well as far as moving on to PDE. So thank you again. Acknowledge that. Tonight, our report is our just our enrollment report, which is hovering. Um, if we open that attachment, it's just right under 700 with the actual students in building. Um, and as we take a look down through, is our numbers uh, to the various outside placements, and then of course our outside Sarver charter enrollments. Uh, I am happy to report tonight for our, our voting items that we will be. Uh, we have recommended um, for our online academy coordinator as an appointment, as a temporary position here for the spring um, so that we can advertise and very much looking forward um, to bringing Mr. Calgar on board and beginning that process of um, doing st some strategic planning for our district and taking some strategic action to make sure that we're eliminating um, the money that is flowing outside our district. So, thanks tonight. That concludes my report. Thank you, Dr. Kushner. All right, so we'll move on to board action items. Um, first section is personnel. There's one recommended for employment, and that's the recommendation that Ms. Jean and Bedner um, be employed as a substitute paralegal. <laughs> Um, do you have a motion to, or motion? Mr. Mondal seconds to Greg. Any questions? Secretary Caldwell? Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungold? Yes. Mr. Novinger? Yes. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. <clears throat> Second one is uh, to appoint Mrs. Natalie Latchaw as a mentor teacher for Ms. Uh, Haley Carter, and with a stipend of $400 per week. 
motion. So now we'll second Mr. Eggleston. Any question? Secretary Palo. Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Gray? Or, I'm sorry, Mr. Enders. Oops, sorry, yes. I apologize. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungle? Yes. Mr. Nominger? Yes. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. Next is online academy coordinator. Uh, the administration is recommending the appointment of Mr. Matthew Calder um, as a temporary online academic coordinator, effective January 20th, 2023, through the end of the 22-23 school year. And Mr. Calder will be paid at his current salary. Um, and it is also, yeah, paid at his current salary until the administration can advertise and recommend permanent full-time hire. All their benefits will be the same as an Act 93 employee. Motion? So moved. Mr. Miller, second. Mrs. Mongol, question. Secretary Calderwell. Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungle? Yes. Mr. Nobinger? Yes. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. Next is the administration recommends uh, Mrs. Jill Herr as a long-term substitute for the spring semester. Uh, it will be a continuation of her assignment in fifth grade in Mr. Calder's absence. Mrs. Mungle, second. Mrs. Gray, what's your question? Secretary Calderwell? Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungle? Yes. Mr. Nobinger? Yes. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. Next is a supplemental contract recommending Ms. Meredith Savage as a lunch duty monitor for the 22-23 school year. Uh, stipend is $425 per week. Mr. Mungle, second. Mr. Miller, question? Secretary Caldwell? Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungle? Yes. Mr. Nobinger? Yes. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. Okay. Uh, the next item is the transfer of sick leave for Mrs. Jean Stein, <coughs> instructional card professional. Um, permission to transfer 6.5 days. Uh, this is an item that came out of committee last month but needed board approval. Motion for that board approval. Uh, Mr. Eggleston, second. Mrs. Mongol, any question? Have we ever done this before? For 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 uh, a paraprofessional? Have we ever? Not that I'm aware of. We we are not aware of any situation like this that has happened before, where we've hired a paraprofessional uh, that had time with another district. Do we have do we have policy? Did, is there policy on this? Not to that's my knowledge. Not to I'm my sorry? Knowledge. Not to not to our knowledge. So we don't know for sure. Did we look? Uh, Mr. Okay is looking right now. I'm sorry? Mr. There, there's some code addressing transfer of sick leave for professional employees, but there's none for support employees. That's why this would require board action because it's not an item that is uh, already covered in school code. So you're, you're reading from policy for Millersburg? I am telling you what is in the school code. The school code? Yes. Not policy? And policy 534, Millersburg policy 534. Addresses sick leave for, for uh, support employees. Uh, I do not see language addressing transfer upon. Okay. All right. <coughs> okay. Thank you. Other question. Secretary Caldwell. Mr. Eggleston. Yes. Mr. Enders. Yes. Mrs. Gray. Yes. Mr. Harris. No. Mr. Miller. Yes. Mrs. Mungle. Yes. Mr. Novinger. Yes. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. Next item is administration recommending adding Logan Zigner as a substitute teacher for the 22-23 school year. Mr. Miller? Second. Mrs. Mongol? Question? Secretary Caldwell? 
Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungold? Yes. Mr. Novinger? Yes. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. The next item is a request the administration is recommending approval of uh, allowing Mr. William Kerr to use, utilize 6.5 days personal leave and 5.5 uncompensated leave for a extended trip. Motion to approve. Mr. Eggleston, second. Mrs. Mongol, is there any question? Secretary Colorado. Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungo? Yes. Mr. Novinger? Yes. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. Next is approval of uh, Shagel, oh, uh, the recommendation of the Shagel Transportation Company, um, employing the following van bus drivers of 22-23 school year. Uh, Mr. Grant Schlegel, Mr. Dylan Schlegel, and Mrs. Deborah Kimmerich. Mrs. Marble, second, Mrs. Gray. Um, any question? Secretary, call the roll. Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. yes. Mrs. Mungo? Yes. Mr. Novinger? Yes. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. Uh, next item, administration recommending that the Act 93 plan be changed uh, to add the online academic coordinator to the plan. Online academic coordinator or academy coordinator? Academy coordinator, thank you. Thank you. Um, motion? Mrs. Mumble, second. Mrs. Gregg, any question? Secretary Colorado. Sorry, that was Mungold and Gray. Yes. Thank you. Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? No. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungold? Yes. Mr. Novinger? No. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. Next is approval of to Crabtree Warbot Associates invoice number nine, uh, which is in the amount of $119,721.70. Um, and the invoice will be paid from the 2022. We have a motion. Mr. Eggleston, second Mrs. Mumble. Any questions? Secretary Colorado. Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungold? Yes. Mr. Novinger? No. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. The item finance team authorization to receive resolution. Um, I'll let you guys read that resolution yourselves. Um, do you have a motion to approve? Mr. Eggleston, second. Mrs. Powell, any questions? Secretary Powell. Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? No. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungold? Yes. Mr. Novinger? No. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. Next item is the 2023-24 Act 1 resolution um, as described Peter in his report. Motion to approve. Smongle, second Mrs. Gray. Any question? Secretary Collier. Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungold? Yes. Mr. Novinger? Yes. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. The next item is the approval of the CSIU FIS, which is the financial system. Mr. Uh, Peter Eaton. Mr. Miller, second. Mrs. Mongol, any questions? 
Secretary Calderon. Mr. Eggleston? Yes. Mr. Enders? Yes. Mrs. Gray? Yes. Mr. Harris? Yes. Mr. Miller? Yes. Mrs. Mungold? Yes. Mr. Novinger? Yes. Mr. Peterson? Yes. Mr. Minnick? Yes. Um, moving on to Board Member Shag. I just have a couple of things. Um, I was also in attendance for the elementary school and middle school band and chorus concerts, which were exceptionally well done. And I think that it is super important to note that Mr. and Mrs. Slummer both do both chorus and band concerts. One of them is conducting while the other one is accompanying, and then they switch roles for the other one, which I think sometimes we take for granted because we see them on concert day, but we don't necessarily always include um, or think of how much time they spend outside of their classrooms in this building that goes into planning for that. I would imagine that they have many nights where they're playing flute and piano together or for each other. Um, so thank you to them for all of their hard work. Um, also, would like to echo how awesome Breakfast with Santa was, the middle school student council, high school student council, PTO, that was all hands on deck. Kids were here super early in the morning to get things set up, to make it a really magical day for the little people that attended. Um, and it's always great to walk around and see a backlog at craft stations and game stations. Um, so I think that is it for me, but great job all around. Anyone else? I would just like to reiterate as well for the elementary chorus and band concert. It was wonderful last night, so thank you to Mr. and Mrs. Slimmer and everyone else who helped to make that um, enjoyable, and the kids did a great job. And then also uh, the Santa shop, uh, great job to everyone at Lincolnville who helped to make that a success. Unfortunately, I could only be there for a small amount of time this year, um, but based on the amount of wrapping that needed done, it seemed like the kids had a wonderful time shopping. So that was awesome. Just wanted to thank the administration principles for their uh, visibility uh, that has continued uh, you know things were discussed during the interview processes that that's what we were looking for and from the middle school band and choral concert that I went to to the uh, girls basketball or the actually boys and girls tip-off tournament uh, that Millersburg girls by the way uh, administration was there it's great to see and that visibility is much appreciated and that follow through of promises made uh, means a lot. Thank you. I'll finish out um, on the, the concert. Um, they, I, I went to the high school, echoing what everyone said, excellent, and echoing on the Slammers, they were both at the high school concert as well. Um, so, so they made all three. Um, so uh, thank you to them, thank you to the students, to the staff, uh, it was, they were wonderful, absolutely. Um, and if there's nothing else, um, we're going to request an adjournment, but we will also then, after adjournment, we're going to move into an executive session. Jason, I just I have one more thing. I don't want that, though. Yeah. I just I appreciate the principals uploading things to social media. I've had lots of parents that are very appreciative because they've got kids at various levels and they know exactly where to go to get information when kids, I can raise my hand for this one, are saying that their spirit days are different, not the same, or pajama days on Tuesday, not on Monday. So the fact that I can say, look, Mr. Hamilton posted this, look, Ms. Owen posted this, um, it makes family bickering a whole lot better and parents can keep their sanity. Um, so thank you for that. It is much appreciated to have an easy spot to go for information, including the inclement weather day. It was all there very quick and it's, it's, it's so keep that coming, please. So motion to adjourn.
Chair. And as I said, we're going to move into an executive session, and there will be no business session. Thank you, and happy holidays, everybody. <coughs> No, that's yeah, cool. Just, 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 just. Is that this? I'll let you do it. I don't want to be yeah, the one yeah, responsible be for it. <laughs> Assuming we're not going to want that orange cord, so like, do I unplug that? 